Hey, you awesome Sagittarians. I've got a great forecast for you for September. First though, I've got an announcement. Many of you have asked me when I'm gonna be teaching astrology again. I'll tell you when, this month, September. I'm offering astrology webinars um, and I'm opening this up to everybody who wants to learn about astrology, no matter where they are at in their astrological knowledge. This means that the person who knows absolutely nothing about astrology can learn how to read a chart and perhaps, if they choose to, how to forecast a chart. On the 18th of this month, I'm going to start my first astrology webinar. And this is the foundation uh, webinar uh, series. I've got a series of three sessions. And this is for the person who knows nothing about astrology. I will share all the information I have on the sun signs, all 12 signs, show you how to write them, the glyph, the symbol, because you've got to be able to do that. I'll go over the planets, what they mean, uh, what signs they rule, how they operate. And lastly, I'll go into the 12 houses of the zodiac. And I will show everybody how to read every member of their, not just their family, but their life in their own birth chart. And I'll be using the birth charts of the participants to teach them how to read a chart. So if you are interested, that first webinar starts September 18th. Go to my website, maxinetaylor.com. It's right there on the first page. If you already know that information, hang in there because the chart interpretation webinars will start immediately after the foundation webinars, okay? Looking forward to seeing you. Now let's talk about you and your awesome forecast. Don't you love this? Oh, let me tell you. you. You can see that there's lots of energy up here in the 10th house of career and public image, which is fabulous. Um, we start off in the 10th house and then move into the 11th of friends and group activities. So let's just start. Venus, the pink planet, the lesser benefic. It brings love, it brings joy, it brings money, it brings popularity in your 10th house. This is great for your career and your public image. Mercury, your conscious mind, it's what you think about and talk about. You're thinking about your career, you're talking about moving upward, um, and whatever you put your attention on grows. So this is the time to move upward, particularly since Mars, the red planet, is in your 10th house. Wherever Mars is, is what comes first to us. It's what we throw ourselves into. It's what we fight with and fight for. <clears throat> this is no lateral moves, move upward. And lastly, the sun, the giver of life, the leader, it's in your 10th house of career. So you have been, it's been going on for a while and it's continuing until these planets then move into the 11th house. So Venus, love, money, popularity, beauty, moves into your 11th house of friends and hopes and wishes in group activities on the 13th. Mercury, what we think about and talk about on the 14th. Those are the two days uh, during which we have the full moon. So friendship, career can move into friendship. It's just terrific. Okay, Mars stays in that 10th house, triggering all your ambitions and uh, kind of kicking you in the butt saying, keep on moving upward. Speak to people in authority who can help you. Don't take no for an answer. No lateral moves for you, only upward. And then when the sun on the 23rd moves into your 11th house, this is where you can shine in groups and be a leader there. When it's in your 10th house, you can be a leader in your career in the 11th with your friends. Now the full moon 
on, it's between the 13th and 14th, depending on your time zone, is in the fourth house of home and family, real estate and emotional security needs. So it balances that career. And on the full moon, things come to a head. So there can be domestic situations uh, that come up. Are you uh, renovating the house? Uh, are you moving? That's when all of that domestic stuff and real estate stuff can surface and give you what you want. And it stays with us till the new moon, which is on the 28th. It sits on your sun. And this, the new moon is when things start moving forward. And so when the moon starts growing, this is you being a friend to all. It's absolutely beautiful. And being a leader among your friends. Now there's a configuration that everybody's going through on this planet this month. And it's called a T cross. It looks like a table with one, two, three legs. The missing leg is the seventh house of partnership, relationships. Now if picture a table with three legs. When you sit down to it, it tilts in the direction of the empty leg. And so that is where the energy is going to flow. So let me explain to you what's going on here. The full moon, that's, when it's, that's what triggers the whole thing. Right around the 13th and 14th, what we're gonna start feeling this T cross, oh, starting a week ahead. <clears throat> okay, early in September. The full moon sits on Neptune, which brings us, uh, Neptune is what we escape into. Neptune can fulfill our dream. And it brings family issues to a head that may be very fulfilling. Now, Jupiter, your ruler, is in your first house and you're totally optimistic. You're, you're jovial, you're just really, since Jupiter's been in Sagittarius, you've been great. <clears throat> The career is triggered as well. And so these are major activities. And as I said, partnership is also triggered. So we've got the four main areas of the horoscope. You, your personality, your physical body, home and family, and career. Now, if you have planets in Gemini, the fourth leg of the table is there. And what happens is all this is activated and is balanced. Don't you love that? I think it's awesome. So that's what I've got, short and sweet and terrific. I look forward to seeing you at my webinars. And until we meet again, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.